It's Saturday morning, we're in Key and Larrick and we're about to catch a train. But where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, I don't know the name of the place. You say... Corur! No chance I would say it. Corur. The weather's all over the place, officially. Hopefully it won't be raining. Hopefully not, but the cloud is sitting pretty low. Now you guys are always asking me for a map, so here it is. Today we're driving as far as Cree and Larach. This is where the Glasgow train splits to Oban or Fort William and Malig, but we're only going as far as the very remote Karur station. And like every station worth its salt, it's got a tea room. That's the most important thing. Every station should have a tea room. Another sign. Crean is a cute little station and it's on the West Highland Line. It's a stop between Glasgow and all the way to Malig and the Caledonian sleeper stops here as well. So on this side, that was the two trains. We had one from Oban and one from Malig, and they've coupled up, and that'll be them off to Glasgow now. And I think this could be our train on the other side. Are we on the right train? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just here? Yeah. Build is one of the most scenic rail journeys in the world, and it, it really is. But I wish they'd clean the windies. We do a massive left turn now over that little bridge that you might be able to see in the background. Now at this stage, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the West Highland Way that's just down there. And we're on the West Highland Line and that's the West Highland Way. Now the road up in the background, that's the road that'll take you to Glencoe. So soon that'll veer off to the left and we'll veer off to the right, right into the middle of the moor. And that's where Corridor Station is. As well as being the highest mainline station in the UK, it's absolutely in the middle of nowhere. We're trying to get off the train, but we have to get off at this end. Thanks, mate. Okay, mate. <laughs> Welcome to Karoo. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of people here just now, but we'll soon disperse out into the moor. And it'll just be us. So here we are, we've arrived at Karoor Station. We've got about five or six hours here, I can't actually remember. You but better it's remember. great to be here.
And yes, you can actually stay in that signal box. In fact, there's some very lucky people up there just now. Oh, and on an unrelated subject, it's my birthday soon. over the back of the station just to get our thumbnail so we've got the station in the foreground and the hill in the background oh it's so windy it's proper windy today and have a fly on your cap. not only the location of where we are in the middle of the moor but this must be up there for the cutest train station in britain hi buddy hello hello oh you're beautiful you're having a nice day who's that hi there hi baby hello Very difficult to drag ourselves away from the station there, but we've got to start our hike. Yeah, so I think we just cross here. So the walk that we're going to do today will take us over this ridge and round over that summit and back down here. We're really blessed to have that station out in the middle of nowhere. Otherwise, there's absolutely no way we could come and do this, especially in a day. It would be a really epic and remote hike. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. I didn't expect it would be so cool. It's funny because as we leave the station, I was just thinking, I know it's the highest station in the UK, but I've got no idea how high above sea level it is. And then we've just spotted a sign. So we're going to have a wee look. What does it say? We are so impressed with ourselves that we're going to do this big walk today, but just as we left the station, there was a group of ladies and they're running it. Crazy. We obviously did quite a bit of research before we came and done this and a lot of the reviews were saying that it gets really boggy on this hill. But we've had a, a long stretch of pretty fine weather, so we're hoping that we'll be okay today. You're just waiting, I know it's something <laughs> go wrong. Yay! The scenery here is just 360 degrees ridiculous. I've been through Corridor before, but I've never actually got off the train there. But it's always been in winter and it's been quite barren looking, but it's so green today, isn't it? When we arrived at the station and it was so busy, you're almost fooled into thinking that you're in civilization. But when you start climbing a bit, you realise you're in the middle of nowhere. There's little pockets of this ridge where there's no wind. But that's when you realise that you want the wind back because you really feel the heat at this stage. Wow, sun cream time. Hey! Woohoo! Well Water. done! Water station? Yeah. yeah. Maybe sit down first. She's eating. She's always eating. You're just waiting for me to eat and then you're recording. We're almost at the top of the ridge here and it's getting really windy. Over behind us we can see the CMD ridge up to Ben Nevis, up to the summit. And over on the other side all the way to Shahalian. What a view! And you can always see that train station.
Amazing effort, guys. Well done. <laughs> Bye -bye. Hey. So we've made it to the summit of Liam Uliam or whatever it's called. The train spotting mountain. And we can't see much, but what we can see is beautiful. We should take a self. Comfy? Yeah, I'm not doing the toilet, I promise. <laughs> it's got a wee bit windy up here now. Hold on to your hats. As we come down this ridge, we can see Karur Station off in the distance. And it's so much more than a train station to us now. It's like our life support. It's our hopes, our dreams, our onion rings. When we arrived, there were some people sitting outside and they were just being served food and it was burgers and fries and onion rings and it looked incredible. I just hope they've got something on the menu by the time we get back down there. Because we couldn't eat before we hiked. That would have been silly. But boy, have we been thinking about it the whole way. Oh, we can see the station, we can almost touch it. But it's slow going through this stuff. Well done. Well done, you. Hi, Trouble. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> tastes good. I can't tell you how good that is. <laughs> That's a nice view we have. It's not bad, eh? We were at the top of the mountain and this one was like, all I want in the world is a ham, cheese and pickle sandwich, she said. Yeah. We've come back down to the station and gone inside to see what food they've got. Ham, cheese and pickle toasties. <laughs> Destiny. That was such a cool day and such an amazing place as well. You know how you get those lists of the top 10 places in Scotland? If this isn't on the list, it should be.
Yay. Goodbye.